X Winder, the original desktop filament winder. This video describes the software installation and machine calibration of the two axis model. Let's start with the installation of the X Winder software. This is the file that was downloaded. It's X Winder version 2 installation file that was downloaded from the X Winder site. So we'll double click and start the install shield process. Okay, welcome to the install shield wizard for X Winder 2. Next. Destination folder is in the program files with an X Winder subdirectory. Okay, we're ready to install the program. Since this video is about the installation and calibration of the XWinder, we won't spend much time going over the designer software. That's the topic of another video. Okay, so on our desktop we've got the XWinder designer, notice the D icon, and we're going to launch that by clicking finish. Here is the XWinder designer program that was just installed. So what we want to do after first installation is to launch the executor so we can go through the calibration process. To do that we can either click this menu item build and operate XWinder manually or we can simply just click on the build and try and execute this G-code file. But as you'll notice the XWinder executor software comes up immediately and it says one or more control boards are not attached. Operation cannot start. The actual message is unknown stepper control boards attached. Setup wizard required. And this is the setup wizard. Here in fact is the XWinder executor program itself. And it has presented us the setup wizard. So we'll click next. And we'll go through a series of steps here to set up and calibrate the X Winder. Step number one, assign the control boards. Manually operate each stepper motor. Make sure that the control box has power. At this point, the system knows that there are two control boards attached, but it does not yet know which control board operates the mandrel and which control board operates the carriage. To switch, con so step two, to switch control boards, select from the drop down. So let's go ahead and pick this ID number of this control board, 345124, and let's just operate it. Whoops, that is not the correct board, so I'm going to stop. The carriage actually moved. So I'm going to try the other board, and I'm going to click counterclockwise. And in fact, that is the operation of the mandrel. So obviously then the other board is the the other serial number 345124 and let's move the carriage. That is in fact the carriage. So we're completed now with assigning of the control boards. We click next. Step 2, mandrel gearing ratio. There are three options. The standard mandrel gearing ratio for the L or XL X Winder models is 6.8 to 1. If you are using your own stepper motors or have your own gearing methods, you can enter that gearing ratio manually. If you do not know either of the above two, you can determine the mandrel gearing ratio manually. So let's go ahead and do that. Step 3 Mandrel Calibration. Place a visible mark on the mandrel chuck at the 12 o'clock position. Well, I've placed a manual um, mark, but it's not at the 12 o'clock position. So I'm going to move the actual position right to the 12 o'clock, uh, which is right about there. I, I'm approximating at the moment for purposes of illustration. So let's go back up to the steps. Place a visible mark on the mandrel chuck at the 12 o'clock position, then click the Begin button. Okay, I click Begin. Number two, use software buttons to rotate the mandrel counterclockwise through 3,600 degrees. That's 10 full revolutions. So we'll start that. Mm -hmm. 
there's one revolution. So I will count these out. There's two. There's three. Notice I can overshoot and still come back and I'll be fine. There's five. There's six. There's seven. There's eight. Now let me start slowing down. There's nine. I'm slowing down. And I'll stop it right at about at the top. I didn't get 12 o'clock, so let me just slightly position it or reposition it so that the mark is exactly at the 12 o'clock position. And notice that the gearing ratio is precisely 12. Although I determined the gearing ratio manually in this case, it does in fact agree with the exact value of the L model. Note that the maximum RPM is 50. So. I'm going to, I already clicked the end button, so that was step three. Click the end button when done. The gearing ratio and max RPM are then displayed as I indicated. Step Next. number four, carriage calibration. We need to determine how far the travel of the carriage is based on the length of the long bars that were used to construct the frame for the X winder. So we'll use the software buttons or we will manually move the carriage to the furthest position away from the limit switch. To manually move the carriage we need to disengage the carriage motor and the current and voltage applied to the carriage motor by unchecking this box. Okay, step two. Enter the distance of carriage from the limit switch. That was 87 and 3 quarters inches, which is just over 2200 millimeters. Step 3, click go to limit switch. Okay, the carriage is now moving towards the limit switch. If I want to speed up or slow down the carriage movement, I could use these manual buttons. carriage has now activated the limit switch. The carriage calibration is complete and several parameters are displayed including the gearing ratio. In this case the number of steps per inch we have 3602. Our maximum speed of the carriage is 9 inches per second which is just over 230 millimeters per second. Okay we're finished with step 4. Let's go next. Step 5. The setup wizard is now complete. We can set the mandrel maximum amperage and the carriage maximum amperage here depending on the power supply and the capability that was installed. In this case I'm setting each to 2 amps. Click save and exit to save the new values. Let's do that. Okay. Notice now that the executor is going to execute the G-code file that we first gave it. This is the default G-code file that comes in the G-code file directory. And the executor has now identified each of the three control boards associated with the system. We have a general I.O. board and there's its serial number, a mandrel stepper control board and there is the serial number and a carriage motor stepper control board and there is that serial numbers all with three green lights so we're ready to start winding 